in this episode. Do you think love is selfish? Love is like a bit complicated of a subject to just kind of think of it as just an exchanging of material. Um, I feel like love is more like, yeah, you're giving up something for a person and they're giving it back to you, but it's more like intimate than that. Because I think sex is also like an emotional exchange more than you know, the material aspect of it. Or at least it. I guess it can be. It can, yeah, again, <laughs> it can be, yeah. I, it could also not be in, like, if you, uh, like maybe prostitution, where oh, yeah. there's not really a lot of emotions. Mm -hmm. Well, there might be emotions involved, but maybe not the kind of emotions you want. Yeah. Welcome to another episode of the Selfishness Project, where we discuss the idea of selfishness. Today I'm here with... Ari. Ari. <clears throat> and let me ask you, just to get started, uh, I haven't talked about the concept of love in any of these um, episodes I've done, so let me ask you, do you think love is selfish? I think to a point love can be selfish um, <clears throat> but I think uh, there has to be some sort of selfishness because like you you know love your partner and you like are giving that time for them or giving that time I don't know so it, it's like, it, it can be but I think for the most part I think it it's also like selfless in a way um, <clears throat> because you're not self like you're giving up time for them and you're not focusing on like you all that much so it's a little bit of both but it's kind of like hard to you know, okay so maybe a mixture yeah so it, it's selfless because you're giving up time yeah to be with the person and it's self it's, it, it's it's selfish because what would they're, make it selfish? They're kind of focusing all their time around you. Okay. Of. So by having this attention, affection directed toward you, yeah. which you get from love, and that way um, you've got some, some values flowing your way. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's selfish from that perspective. So yeah. you're both get, giving up something and getting something in return. Mm -hmm. uh, that makes it sound kind of like a trade. Yeah, kind of. Um, so maybe love is, is a sort of trade? Mm hmm I would see it that way, yeah. Like an ex exchange of values? Yeah. Okay. So then, I mean, is it, is it any different than, in, in principle, is it any different than like when you, you go to the store and you buy something, you want to get a new pair of shoes, let's say, and uh, you trade them money and they trade you shoes in return. So is that essentially the same thing that's going on in love, but just in a different kind of way? Um, kind of, but not really. I feel like love is like a bit complicated of a subject to just kind of think of it as just an exchanging of material. Um, I feel like love is more like, yeah, you're giving up something for a person and they're giving it back to you, but it's more like intimate than that. And rather than just like going to the store and like exchanging money for like a shoe or something like that. So it's more intimate. Um, okay. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely a different kind of exchange. Yeah. So maybe <clears throat> it's not a material exchange? Not really. I mean, it can be like, but in that case, I don't really think it's love if it's like focused on material exchange but it's more like emotional exchange and having that kind of trust in someone okay kind of emotional exchange mm -hmm. maybe um spiritual exchange yeah that could be if that's like thing. the opposite of material yeah okay so they're exchanging them but there is there, there's some kind of material component yeah. i guess there could be mm -hmm. uh like uh, sex, for example. Yeah. I mean, if that's part of 
a loving relationship, your your material body is is involved some way. So yeah. maybe is it is it both a material and an emotional, spiritual kind of exchange, perhaps? Yeah, I would say so. But more of like that emotional, spiritual exchange, I think. More of the emotional. Yeah. Okay. So maybe that aspect of it um, is more dominance or yeah. prominence? Because I think sex is also like an emotional exchange more than you know, the material aspect of it. Or at least it, I guess it can be. It can, yeah, again, <laughs> it, it can be, yeah. I, it could also not be in, like, if you, uh, like maybe prostitution, where oh, yeah. there's not really a lot of emotions. Mm -hmm. Well, there might be emotions involved, but maybe not the kind of emotions you want. Yeah. Um, but I guess it's, maybe that's more focused on the material aspect mm -hmm. of it. Uh, whereas, um, I guess, in a loving kind of relationship, the focus would be more on uh, having positive emotions mm -hmm. involved as well. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, uh, thanks for your thoughts on selfishness and love. Okay. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Have a good day. You too.